Yeah, what up, y'all? It's Ray J. It's your boy, Dark Child. You know what I'm saying? We holding it down on VladTV.com. What it do, Pimp Juice? Did you work directly with Michael Jackson? Or you just yeah, I, Jackson? I worked with Michael for, for, for years. Actually, I introduced Rod, Michael Rodney, to Ray J. Rodney introduced me and Brandy to Michael. He, yeah. he hit us up like 5 in the morning. Like, y'all want to meet Michael? And like, yeah, come through around 7 a.m. Yeah. Came through. Rodney, Rodney pretty much... You know, had the control of MJ's whole musical situation, and so it was yeah. it's very inspiring to, to be in the studio with Rodney, just knowing how many people he's worked with and how many smash songs and smash albums he's produced. You know, is just definitely inspiring for me. What was it like for you guys to work with the greatest entertainer of all time? Oh, it was a blessing. I mean, it was it was definitely a goal of mine when I was a kid. Like when I first decided I wanted to be a producer at, at 11 years old. On the little sheet of paper was like one day I'm gonna work with Michael Jackson, you know, and I just believe that God granted granted my wish, you know what I mean? And I had the chance to to work with him. We became friends, and uh, of course we miss him dearly. You know, he was he was truly the, the greatest, you know, and 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 all the stuff that I, for me working with him, all the stuff that I learned from him, I now can utilize and working with people like Ray and and, and helping you know cultivate careers and, and showing them that there's. There's even other money out there that could be had if you if you if you play the game right. What are some of the things you learned from Michael Jackson? I mean, I, the, probably on a business from a business standpoint, it definitely it definitely was publishing. He literally was the one that taught me publishing. Mm -hmm. I thought I knew publishing before working with him, but I, I came to the game as a youngster. I was 16 years old working. When I worked with Michael, I just turned 20. So I was young and he just took me aside one day and we got real cool. He said, I'm going I'm I'm to teach you how to really, really get, get some money. So he taught me, he taught me you know the BMI system and how to get money from them and he, and he taught me how to he taught me how about buying publishing so I started acquiring catalogs at a young age and you know I don't talk about it but I just do it and so now I have other people's publishing that I own and I'm still buying other people's publishing so you know he really was a mentor in that in that in that way and then musically he's just just, just the fact of me working with him taught me it just taught me a uh, understanding of technology and, and and how to and how to never stop challenge yourself like me and Ray got a smash album that we know right now we can put out it could come out on a Tuesday right now it's done but after working with Michael he really taught me how to challenge like really like finish it when it's out when it's when it's mastered it's complete mm -hmm. you keep working until it's mastered mm -hmm. so we gonna keep working until we know it is it, mastered but what was Michael's personality like because you know he, he was very kind of secretive and very, you know. Nah, he was like that with people he didn't know, or, or, or the public, the public, the public, the public yeah. persona. But people like myself, people that that he knew, that knew him, he was cool. Like, my Mike, I took Mike out to Times Square in New York. You know, we used to hang in Miami. Like, you know, he'll tell you, we used to roll in my Bentley. You, and, you know, in Times Square. Yeah, I took Mike all around New York in my Bentley. I, t I took, you know, Mike. Mike was so cool. Put it like this. Put it like this. And, and my man is here today. He can vouch for this. When we finished Rock My World, which is last number one record, before radio even got it, before anybody got it, I told Mike I wanted to go test it at Rucker Park in Harlem. And he said, yeah, go do it. And I took the record to, to Rucker to a game, and at halftime I tested Rock My World. And they was tripping because I was playing a new Michael exclusive at Rucker Park. Okay. And, that, and, he, and him, that showed me the kind of person he was. He could have been an artist like, no, you can't play my music for, for anybody. He was like, nah, go play that. If they love it, let me know. And I was like, and I actually called him like, listen, listen to the response. They was going crazy down there. So that's the kind of dude Mike was. Mm -hmm. uh, how'd you feel when you heard about his death? It was devastating. I didn't believe it at first. I, you know, at first I was like, "Oh, he's just trying to get out of some some dates or something." You know, like he doesn't want to do these shows because that's the Michael. That's the Michael I knew. But when I when I really when I hit his family up and they told me that it was real, it, it came down like a it was like a house falling falling down on me or something. Um, but you know, the one thing that I keep with me is knowing that his legacy and the music that he left us is so amazing that we we have music from him that can inspire generations from years and years to come mm -hmm. make people cry make people dance make people feel good and we got to preserve his legacy and how we do that is keep you know i'm about to work on a new uh, 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 unreleased project that 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 we're, we're talking about doing right now and so, i heard some of the stuff Woo! yeah yeah, really? so, yeah right, so, so an unreleased michael jackson project is coming out oh it's definitely going to come yeah i mean you know it, it takes time though it's, it's a lot you know you got to do a lot of the, the red tape but yeah there's definitely going to be a, a unreleased michael jackson there's definitely be stuff to come and you know hopefully i'll be a part of 
part of that project. And um, and I learned a lot from him. I mean, I really did.